Hey there, I hope you're doing well. My name is Nates and I will review your Storyline project at StorylineAudit.com. Now, client asked me to put the print button on the slide so users can print that particular slide to save that information. And it's, you know, it's quite easy. You slap the slide, <laughs> you slap the button on the slide, you, you set the trigger and then you get the button printed on the slide, which is not great. So what can we do about it? Let's check it out. So actually it's quite easy. First, we hide the button. So when user clicks, we're gonna change the state of the print button to hidden. When user clicks, print button. Then we can just copy paste that and say, change it to normal. And then we can copy paste again and put it in the middle and say, print slide when user clicks print button. So we're gonna hide the button, print the slide and show the button again. And because these, got, these go in order, it's gonna be all good and we can check that out in the browser because it doesn't work in the preview. So here's the slide, we say print, print, that's the Safari notification and if I click landscape, you can see the button is gone. What I really like about this is that you can actually see the button in the background, but it's not here in the preview, which is awesome. Now I'll cancel this for now. But let's do something a little bit more complicated. You know, I like a challenge. So let's say that I want to print a little banner on top, something that says this was printed from a course, this and that, when they click the print button. But that text is not seen usually when you go through the course. So let's do that. Okay, so we can just get rid of these triggers for now and let's create a new layer. We're gonna call it print and we're gonna just create a quick banner on top. Something like that and let me type something totally random like that and I want a white a little bit of transparency, no line, black text, like that. And now some triggers. We're gonna print this slide when timeline starts this layer. You can just copy paste this. And then we're gonna hide layer, this layer, when timeline starts this layer. Now we also have to hide that button the print button and we're not going to do that with the trigger here but on this layer now all you have to do is go in the base layer object expand that and click the eye icon and the print button will disappear with a little bit of delay because storyline um, on the main base layer we're going to add a trigger on the print button and we're just going to say show layer print when user clicks print button there now let me go to the preview in the browser okay print print landscape and on top you can see the text and again you can't see it in the slide there is no button here but it's on the slide and everything is awesome so there you go a simple quick way to hide the print button and make your course a bit more elegant and polished Take care and I'll talk to you in the next video.